Hey guys, quick back, Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about discovery of DRNA. During 1950s, scientists were curious to find how protein synthesis occurs in cells. This was the time when there was no information regarding DRNA, mRNA, and other components involved in protein synthesis. When they treated the cells with labeled amino acids, they found the activity was detected on endoplasmic reticulum. An ultracentrifugation showed the activity on the ribosomes. This means rough endoplasmic reticulum is a site for protein synthesis in cells. So the question they asked was, how amino acids are transferred to endoplasmic reticulum for protein synthesis? For this, they used microsomes that are broken pieces of endoplasmic reticulum formed during ultracentrifugation. When microsomes were treated with labeled amino acids, nothing happened. No activity was detected on the microsomes. Scientists thought that because protein synthesis is an anabolic process, ATP should play a key role in this process. When they repeated the experiment in presence of ATP, they found the activity of labeled amino acids was detected on the microsomes. When supernatant is added, the activity of labeled amino acids on the microsomes increases even more. Now because ATP and supernatant played a key role in this process, scientists thought that there might be an enzyme involved in this mechanism. To find this enzyme, they started precipitating proteins and enzymes of the supernatant by various methods. They found that when pH of the supernatant is decreased to 5, a precipitate is obtained. The precipitate was dissolved in appropriate buffer and the experiment was again repeated. In presence of precipitate and ATP, the labeled amino acids were transferred on the microsomes. Because the enzyme in the precipitate used ATP, it was a synthetase enzyme. When this mixture was analyzed by paper chromatography, they found that the amino acids were attached with adenine. Based on these observations, the enzyme was called aminoacyl synthetase. The enzyme was further characterized by several biochemical tests for the detection of protein, lipids, carbohydrates and nucleic acids. And these are all the routine tests that a biochemistry student performs during their studies. Analysis showed that the enzyme was associated with an RNA. So they denatured the enzyme and precipitated the RNA in large amount. When this RNA was analyzed by density gradient centrifugation, they found that it was a very small RNA and contained about 75 nucleotides. The RNA also demonstrated activity of labeled amino acids. Based on these observations, the RNA was termed as tRNA or transfer RNA as it played a key role in the transfer of amino acids to the ribosome and the enzyme was called aminoacyl tRNA synthetase.